So in this session, uh, I'm going to explain to you the guys uh, the full load and the current load. Uh, for the full load, you know, it's uh, a process of completely destroying or deleting the existing data uh, and reloaded uh, from scratch. Uh, let me show you here uh, an example. That will be a quick example here. Uh, here where I'm going to do, I'm going to use this uh, table called player list. Uh, it's empty, but you need to refresh it every time that you want to load the data. So you'll say truncate uh, table to player list. Okay, make sure to you, uh, write down the script here in SMS. So just in case if you have any like um, mistakes or something, that's it will let you know. So here, what I'll say, okay, and drag and drop the data flow, and it's a full load from scratch. My destination, my uh, source. It will be a player list Excel file and the destination will be here uh, the table as I mentioned earlier called player list mm. yes yep right here mm -hmm. okay cool so now Simply execute it and let's see. Cool, and this is my table, has the records and the status, it's old, and this is my uh, source. And I'm going to use this script later. Now, let me restrict these two tasks in one container let me call it full load okay now I will go to the incremental load uh, what is an increment an incremental load an incremental load is a process of loading data uh, incrementally so only new or change data uh, it, it will be loaded to the destination so that are, so that's mean that the data, the data that doesn't change will be left alone they will not be uh, loaded to a destination so how this will be happen um, we will going to use the Excel file the same as the full load and Make sure just to go to uh, columns, and I'm going to use the data conversion. I'm sure that uh, the package will fail because of the player ID, which is in my destination. It's uh, int, and here I'm going to use the lookup transformation. In a lookup transformation, I will check. I will going to check whether this uh, data it's a new data or it's uh, old data. Uh, here, where I'm going to redirect it to a no match output, and my destination. Here, we will going to choose your destination. Player list. Go to column. Um, I will rely on the on the name like. If the name being modified or if this is a new name I need you to insert it to the destination if this data come with the same name uh, this means it's all data and I don't need it uh, to load it of course this is just an example uh, your real project may use you may use like a unique like uh, records like a social security number or uh, any other records like you can use two uh, columns as well as one I'm going to use uh, one for my example and 
here I am going to use the oldb command in case the records that been matched so this script that's I'm going to in case if uh, my records been matched I need you to update my destination uh, using this script the script says like update all my table equal to a question mark the question mark it means the dynamic variable or the dynamic uh, records that they are coming from the source and uh, make sure you are using the where clause otherwise you're going to update all your table with the same records so and these numbers that's I was going to show you why I am using it here go to select uh, the connection manager of course it's the SSMS the first one it's the Excel and here where you need to go to a SQL command and add your uh, script this 012 make sure that the first name is equal to 0 last name 1 status 2 player ID 3 why because I'm going to mapping the column right here the 0 is the first name parameter 1 it's the last name two status three player ID now press OK and in case here my records if they are doesn't match I need you to insert directly to the table like I mean like if this is a new record I need you to insert it directly to my uh, destination so here go back here this is what I have let's do some changes first I will add a record here add a new name and this is the status is a new and let's change the last name of Milan into John and let's call the status update so I have one records has modified the last name and I have a new records being inserted to the source and let's see how the incremental load work execute and let's watch the process okay see I have four records that they have uh, matching records which mean matching between the first name here for the destination with the first name in here uh, the source but except one which is does not match goes directly to the uh, destination I'm going to execute see I have the name of the last name for Milan being changed and the status turned into update and I have a new record being inserted to my destination so this is how the incremental load work and as well as the full load